<laughs> so, gig. Anyway, I wanted to ask you to. I wanted to come and talk to you um, because um, we've done we've done lots of photos together in the past. Yeah, four years, five years. Yeah, six years. Um, and we've so we've had all these conversations about photography, about visibility, about. Um, you know, how do you look and how, what does it mean to be photographed? And, and I just wanted, I just wanted to come in, get your thoughts on, on different things about that. Like, so, you know, about why you wear what you wear and what does it mean to you and fashion mm -hmm. and all yeah. the fun stuff. I mean, what, so, um, so what do you think about, why do you, why do you dress the way you do? Uh, I'm only dressed what I want to wear. I wouldn't wear anything. Basically, like I'm already have my mind like from the night before, <laughs> like what am I going to be tomorrow? What am I going to do? What I want. So, what I wear is everything that I want to be and what I want. I mean, I thought I remember we had this meeting um, a couple years ago. It was like this big meeting about a festival. And um, you were so you were like you well you were in a big yellow ball gown yeah. in this meeting and but you just like totally commanded the room and I just remember thinking that's like that's power that's not a person trying to step into a version of power that's like you being you in your power in that meeting yeah so it's to a category um, when I said I actually wear what I want but again I actually wear what is need and what people want as well so on that day i remember we went to do something very important yeah. i mean like kind of knowing what that there are a lot of different versions about of power dressing mm -hmm. like what, what do you think about power dressing power suits yeah i'm just like get introduced to the power suit a few years ago like um, when i was a kid i never like wearing suit in my teenagers you know basically under 30 I'm kind of like never wearing suit at all because I don't think it's necessary. And then one day I met a very powerful woman and she in a very nice suit and she made me kind of listen to her and admiring her. So I'm kind of like, oh, that's kind of nice. You know, I'm going to be like 40 now. So I feel like I'm... I'm able to wear the suit now, <laughs> you know, is it to do with age or not? I'm not sure, but my mind was ready to wearing the suit. Yeah, but the mm -hmm. suit you were wearing is like pretty cool fashion-y yeah. kind of suits. But do you, like, there's this thing we've talked about, which is, has, which is called, which we, when we do things together, there's a, there's a kind of magical um, atmosphere that we stuff. make and yeah. it's very spiritual. Some, and, but we, but we've talked about, um, uh, glamour magic, which is yeah. about how you can wear the things that you wear can and create make it power. Yeah, work so itself. Yeah, because like most of the thing like that, you and me working together, like basically, like we never plan what's gonna happen, like today. Yeah, and then we just let the atmospheric, the thing that we're wearing today, the whole thought, the experience, just guiding us, isn't it? It's just guiding. So then, when we're wearing something. I think the dress is so much powerful. It's like a flower, it's like, you know, some flower have like this beautiful, big orange or pink or whatever they do, the magic itself, isn't it? Yeah. So our clothes, it's like our petal to be like do the magic itself. Yeah. And do you think that, um, because I think as women, you and um, that you get this sense and also as you grow older that um, there's a different, you're not walking in a power, like say a white man has walked in power just by their skin that they're walking in. Right. So mm. there's a, um, a certain way I, th I think that I, you'd, that like, um, a woman of color would not be able to, I don't know, there's like a different sense of like how that you would dress and how you, so it becomes maybe a more sophisticated language that women can speak. Mm. What were you? I have a lot of this conversation with my mom because like, you know, we're both Asian lady and tiny and then we've been in too many like a place in European country and I said, mom, if you want a respect, you wear to get respect and she kind of like 
first he's like oh you are who you are blah blah and then after she spent time with me for a few months she see it you yeah. know she see it like well this table is me and my mom and then the next table is another asian lady in the same age with us and kind of thing but from what i'm wearing i'm always like get a really nice greeting like you know respect freebie <laughs> everything i don't know it's just like kind of interactive with people more you yeah know? yeah and i mean because i know that like if my hair has got it's got green in it mm. a bit of green that i just feel like people like it i mean Ooh. i like it but i also feel like people like it do you know what the i mean peace, yeah and um the that, they like to look straight do you think that like like because you're from thailand and it has a um the kind of spiritual life is more imbued in everyday life like how does that because how does that connect do you think with how you how you are or how that you you know the things that you wear like do you feel like so for instance your tattoos or your you know are more than adornment or kind of does that make any sense yeah i think i think like kind of put this way um everything is a reason isn't it everything is pretty much philosophy is it changed your life everything that you're feeling into your body mm -hmm. like tattoo changing your look or colors everything is relating yeah to your life pattern do you because also because you've got like daily practices that are part of your spiritual beliefs but also your culture around like um offerings and around having um um you know you have kind of um belief and 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 they, they come into your into your life in a daily way in the way that you kind of mm. I, I always think it's like this these things that you're physically doing to connect with something beyond your kind of mm -hmm. self out in the world doing things and, yeah because we don't believe that we are just we in the world we believe that everything got life like the plant got the life you know like the moon and the star is there for a reason and incarnation and everything so everything is kind of relating not just us human alone in yeah the world. i i think i see when i'm photographing young people since covid i feel like there are a ton of them who they want that in their life they're bringing that into their life there's like they're wearing things that are like talismans and crystals and things about mm. like um more spiritual mm -hmm. ways of of thinking and totally wearing it and in this playful way but they're they are they're kind of like wanting to connect with something more than was offered because what offer what was offered is clearly um not promised i saw that i i i, I seen my boy brought a very expensive rock after the covid and he never believed in this kind of thing before and and it's like what happened because people have stopped believing in everything you see science whatever is not well i think like have a yeah it's all anymore isn't it yeah <laughs> so, and it's kind of like there's all these cracks which were cracks anyway yeah but now they're like all right games up yeah games up and then i yeah. think like there's all this absolutely opportunity and positive but i just feel really i just feel quite hopeful about what's going on in those coming mm -hmm. out of those cracks i guess 